Hi guys, welcome back to the another video of in AI. So guys, in our last video we have seen the pressure gauge. What are the parts of the pressure gauge? That's the what are the specifications of the pressure gauge uh, that we have seen in our previous video. So let's be begin with our today's video. And in this video we are going to learn the types of pressure gauges. back here the first one is the normal the 4 inch dial size half inch BSP process connection gauge that is the normal bottom tube type pressure gauge so guys this bottom tube type pressure gauge can be varying in the dial sizes ranging from 2.5 inch to 6 inch or maximum 10 inch so that is the normal bottom tube type pressure gauge that is the first type of the pressure gauge so this <coughs> This can be used in the various applications uh, like in the oil and gas applications, food and beverages, pharmaceuticals, also in the um, in the cement and mixing that kind of the application we can use this kind of the gauges. But the problem is when the process media enters from the beat, uh, from the socket and then it goes to the BT and it tends to expand the BT. Okay. It is okay for when the process media is the water or oil but suppose it is a corrosive fluid then then what will happen this corrosive fluid when it enters in the socket then it will go into the BT and then it will damage the whole system that is the mechanical system so guys the next one is the diaphragm seal pressure gauge so guys in our previous one that is the bottom tube type the primary sensing element which shows gives us the reading is the bottom tube and in this case the primary sensing element is the diaphragm okay so guys when the the pressurized fluid enters in the gauge it first hits the diaphragm it pressurizes the diaphragm it hits the force on the diaphragm diaphragm will like uh, it will tends to like uh, diaphragm gets expand or diaphragm gets compressed over there inside and inside after that diaphragm over there there is the fully silicon oil is filled inside that particular gauge so when the pressurized media enters in the gauge it f exerts the pressure on the diaphragm diaphragm exerts the pressure on the filled silicon oil then this silicon due to that pressure the bottom tube gets expand and will get the reading so guys that's how a diaphragm seal pressure gauges works basically so guys this was the second type that is a diaphragm seal pressure gauge so guys this diaphragm seal pressure gauge is mainly like uh, uh, mainly advisable and uh, we offer like diaphragm seal pressure gauge in case like suppose is there any kind of the viscous media or else the viscosity like the honey or the any other kind of the viscous media is there or the application is such kind of uh, such kind of that kind of the application we recommend uh, this diaphragm seal pressure gauge so guys this diaphragm seal pressure gauges is having two types basically the first one is the threaded type diaphragm pressure gauge and the second type is the flanged one so guys basically this threaded type is basically this is the requirement of the customer suppose if the customer asks you that he required this threaded one diaphragm seal pressure gauge then we can go for this kind of the gauges suppose the customer is having an equipment and we need to give this uh, uh, diaphragm seal pressure gauge which is mounted on that equipment but the process connection size is the flanged one then we can suggest that is for flange diaphragm seal pressure gauge so guys that was the basically two different types of this diaphragm seal pressure gauge moving ahead to the next that is the Schaffer diaphragm gauge basically so guys the Schaffer diaphragm gauge is nothing but the for measuring the low ranges such as when this when customer wants to measure the like the pressure range between somewhat around 0 to 100 mm WC or we can call it as a 0 to 500 mm WC, 600 mm WC. 
So these are the low ranges and that can be measured with the help of this Schaffer diaphragm type pressure gauge. So guys, when I say this is the diaphragm type pressure gauge, there is a Schaffer diaphragm. So guys, as we all know, the pressure, uh, the pressure, pressure generates when, when there is a force which acts upon a area. Okay. So guys, in the sh this Schaffer diaphragm gauge, this is mainly suitable for measuring the low pressure basically low pressure so that means the area of the diaphragm will be the more so that's why it is called as the shuffer diaphragm so this is in this pressure gauge the area of the diaphragm will be the more so guys this shuffer diaphragm gauge is used for measuring uh, low range low ranges uh, applications or we can call it as a low ranges plus viscous and corrosive fluids applications so guys moving ahead to the next that is the capsule gauges so guys capsule gauges as we all know these are the economical when the brass is used it becomes economical and when the SS316 or any other material is used it becomes expensive so guys next is the capsule gauge so uh, there is the second option that is the second option for a Schaffer diaphragm gauge. This is the capsule gauge basically. So this is also recommended for measuring the low ranges. But basically guys over here diaphragm is not used. In this case the capsule is used as a primary sensing element over here. So guys this uh, capsule gauge is suitable for the ranges of uh, 0 to uh, 100 millibar or we can call it as a 0 to 60 millibar. 0 to 600 millibar so for that ranges we can go for the capsule gauge so guys the capsule gauge can be comes in the material of like brass which is the very economical model we can say this is the cheaper model and in the SS316 is also, is, uh, also comes so the SS316 is likely expensive than that of the brass so guys this is uh, this four are the main types of the pressure gauges the first one we have seen the bottom tube type pressure gauges the second one we have seen the diaphragm seal type pressure gauge and inside that diaphragm seal the, there are the models that is the threaded one and the second one is the flange connection the next one is the Schaffer diaphragm model that is the third one third model we have seen for measuring the low uh, ranges we, uh, we have seen and the last one is the capsule gauge which is the fourth one so guys that that's uh, that that are that's all the four models which are used for measuring the pressure and these are all the four models are of the mechanical type measurement systems basically so guys thank you for watching my video that's all about the types of the pressure gauge in the next video we'll see and we'll discuss what kind of the material which is used in the pressure gauges so guys thank you i hope you like my video Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts and any queries, please do comment below. If you have any idea, uh, like uh, for the, if you have any queries, please ask me. Feel free to ask me. And guys, please subscribe to my educational channel, Aim in Mind. Thank you, guys.